GTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Sutton. Let's get started. Okay, I'm in the same situation we've been in before. I started with a single view application. I deleted the view controller that was provided, both the files and the instance in the storyboard. I've dragged in a table view controller, which also contains its corresponding table view. I've created a CTN table view controller.m.h through new file, and I've changed the type of the table view controller to CTN view controller. Now here's what this episode's all about. Let's say you want a table, and it could potentially be quite long, and you want to customize each of the cells potentially with labels, controls, images, and you want that to be static. Each one's different, and you want to be able to scroll up and down, and you want to be able to use the controls and change the labels and so on that are in these cells. You can actually do that. And the way in which that happens is that if you take a look at the attribute inspector for the table view, there's dynamic prototypes and there's static prototypes, static cells. We have three of these by default. You could actually create more by option drag another one down, or you could delete. Normally, you'd want quite a few of these. Otherwise, you would just be designing your control system in a basic view. We're going to the next slide, and we're going to start playing around with this. Okay, let's go and kind of randomly design some static cells here. We'll put a slider in one. Obviously, you'd, obviously you'd put multiple things in your cells. Maybe a label, a slider, switches, images, so on and so forth. Put a label in the other one. Now, before we run this, let's take a look at the tableviewcontroller.m file. Because we have static cells here, I've commented out the method for getting the number of sections and getting the number of rows. Let's go ahead and run this. Build and run. See that it was running already, so I'll stop it. Sometimes I feel like I should tell stories during this process. Okay, so we have our cells. Now the next question is, well, how do we hook them up? Let's go to the next slide. Okay, this step is incredibly trivial. Um, if I simply bring up the assistant editor, as we have in the past, I have the implementation for CTN Table View Controller. And I can simply control drag from anything that's in these cells and do the standard thing where I create outlets and actions. Of course, if you have a large number of controls, you could use tags to distinguish between them and so on and so forth. That's it. Thanks for watching.